HUL is a part of everyone's life, yours, mine and every Indian's. From food products to bathing products, each family uses at least some product which is made by HUL. Besides using HUL products, there are a lot of people who have also invested in HUL stock. So, we have brought this story for such people. With this story of HUL, we are not asking you to buy the share, not at all. We are just bringing you the story of the biggest FMCG company in the country so that as an investor, you can have complete information about the company. So recently on March 11, HUL share touched its 52-week low of 2,096 rupees. Now, if the blue chip stock has fallen this much, then an increase in a heartbeat is quite obvious. When this happens, some of the people get scared while some look at it as a buying opportunity. That's where HUL's story becomes interesting. So let's begin. First, let's have a look at HUL's share price. Last year on September 21, the share was trading at 2,859 rupees. So why is HUL's share price falling like this? For this, let us look at the factors in favor and against the company. First thing is that HUL is the biggest FMCG company of the country. More than 80% of the brands of the company are the market leaders. What is the reason for this leadership? This includes a large distribution network, more than 50 brands and strong marketing and advertising support. 14 of its brands have annual earnings of more than 1000 crore rupees each. As the company's factories are spread across the country, this also helps in saving freight charges. The company has strong pricing power, so when the input costs increase, it can raise the price of products. Even though input costs have risen, increases in prices and cut in expenditures help the company in maintaining strong margins. Merger with GSK Healthcare also gave a strong footing in the food segment. The big thing is that the company doesn't have debt. Now let us compare it with other companies. The company has a good profit growth. Let us have a look at the profits of the company. It has been successful in maintaining strong profit growth. The company earns most of the money from beauty and personal care products, followed by home care products. All these are the points in favor of the company. So, it's time to look at points that go against the company. For the last three quarters, volume growth of the company has been declining. In the third quarter, the segment was affected due to Omicron, Russia-Ukraine war and decline in the share of foreign investors. The company is worried about the fall in volumes in the rural areas. In the coming times, rising commodity prices can create problems for the company. The share of foreign investors is decreasing and that is the negative for the company. Besides this, the company is facing tough competition. There is intense competition in segments ranging from soaps to personal care. Figures of volume growth also indicate the same trend. What should you do if you want to invest in the company? Money9 suggests that before buying the stock, wait for commodity prices to fall because this will act as the next trigger for share. As it is one of the leading companies in the sector, its valuation is comparably higher. 